here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. And of course, we're keeping a close eye on that system in the Gulf of Mexico. If it becomes a name storm, it would be Barry. Let's get a look at what's happening locally. Live Doppler radar, no rain at the moment. Threat tracker for tonight, low chance of severe weather. Same for Thursday and same for Friday, although we do have the chance for showers and maybe a thunderstorm on Friday. Here's North Kingstown, blue skies, very quiet out there in the bay. Very small waves at Narragansett Town Beach, but all these people are enjoying the uh, nice summer day. 81 degrees at the moment with a light wind in Narragansett, 87 Providence, 84 in Smithfield, upper 80s in Taunton, New Bedford at 86 degrees and westerly near Musquamacut Beach, 86 degrees wind from the south at 7. Satellite radar picture very quiet across the northeast. If you look up in the sky, you see a lot of these very thin cirrus clouds passing overhead. Big picture, high pressure sitting off to our south now. What that's going to do is pump in the humidity over the next couple of days. By Friday, we're looking at very humid conditions here in southern New England, and that could lead to some showers with down pretty good downpours. Hour by hour forecast looking quiet through the uh, e uh, afternoon. So maybe some extra clouds this evening and maybe some patchy fog, especially near the south coast during the overnight. And that's how we'll start the day tomorrow with some clouds and maybe a little coastal fog. I think we're dry tomorrow during the day, but late tomorrow night might eventually see some showers develop and some of those showers could be heavy early on Friday morning. Satellite radar picture down there in the Gulf of Mexico. This is what is being called a potential tropical storm number two. That is going to be working its way on off to the west, away from Florida, but headed toward Louisiana and Texas, bringing some flooding rains. It could potentially form into a category one hurricane before it makes landfall. But nonetheless, they're expecting a, a lot of rain, some gusty winds and possibly a storm storm surge there in uh, Louisiana. In fact, storm surge, surge, storm surge watches and tropical storm watches are in effect for portions of Louisiana. It's possible the remnants of that could impact us next weekend, talking about 19th and 20th. Uh, forecast for today, 88 degrees, pretty warm everywhere, including near the south coast with mainly sunny skies. For tonight, overnight lows in the upper 60s, going to be muggy tonight, again, with some patchy fog developing, especially near the coastline. Dew point forecast, as I mentioned, over the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing the humidity increase. Dew points at the muggy level tomorrow and becomes oppressive on Friday, especially for the morning. It drops off a little bit on Saturday. Here's your seven day forecast tomorrow, looking at sunshine temperatures getting into the mid 80s in the afternoon with some extra clouds around on Friday. We have the chance for some rain showers and those rain showers uh, could be around, especially in the morning, maybe a thunderstorm in the afternoon, but I think best chance of any rain would be in the morning on Friday. Saturday's looking OK, 90 degrees, Sunday OK, 90 degrees and staying pretty warm and still a little humid next Monday and Tuesday. But we're looking at uh, pretty quiet weather for the next two days. All right. Right. Thank you, TJ. Stay with us for stories coming up new tonight, starting live at 5. Very latest from today's Board of Licenses hearing after a deadly beating outside of a Providence club. Then new at 530, flying into the eye of hurricanes. It's a dangerous job for the crew tonight. We're hearing from some of those pilots who put their lives in harm's way in order to help protect lives and property. New at 6, following up with the Coast Guard on what owners of paddle boats should do to avoid costly and time-consuming searches. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. If you're not home by 6, you can get an update on the day's big stories every weeknight on Eyewitness News at 630. That's on Fox Providence. In Salt Lake City, a semi